श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ गणा गणपति हवामे कवि कवीनामस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पथ आन शृण्मीदसाधन ओं श्री महागणपत नम ओं नम शिवाय गुरव सच्चिदानंदमूर्त दुष्प्रपंचा शाताय निरालंबाज तेजसी ओं यशात्मूत गुर प्रसाद अहम विमुक्त संसार बंधा सर्वोपदेष्टु शिवानंदमूर्ते मृद्वाग्रयुग्म प्रणदस्म दया सिंधु दीन बंधु शास्त्रबोधन पटु मस्कींद्रवर नौमी श्री चिदानंद सद्गु ओं प्राणीना दुखहर्तार ज्ञानदो भुवन मुक्त शिवानंद चिदानंदो आश्रिए गुरसत्तमो ओं शांतात्मा प्रणदसुलभम सिद्ध विद्या प्रभाव भास्वद्रूपम सुगुण निलय दस्तकर्मादिमर्ग प्रज्ञावृद्धम च समदृश तारद त्याज्यम साक्षात मम गुरवर शिवानंद नथोस्मी शिवानंद नथोस्मी ओ भद्रम कर्णे शृणयाम देवा भद्रम पश्येक्षजत्र स्थिरंगुष्टुवागु सत्तनु व्यशेम देवित यदायु स्वस्ति नईन्द्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्वेद स्वस्ति नस्ताक्षो अरिष्टनी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओ शाति शाति Shanti hi hari hi om. Today we will start the third year mantra. Okay. So we will have a quick look of the biyam dadami te chakshu. So um, what what has been covered so far that we will see. You should always remember the whole thing. The sequence should be here. We should not refer book. Okay. So at least the. What is told that essence of that should be there in the mind. Otherwise, what is Isha was you bring? Is Isha was you bring? Is the book you bring? Mantra reference it is okay. Isha was you bring? 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 Before that, they say Brahma taught this, taught this, taught this. This is the story. By knowing which, someone can ask the question to people other, to Angiras. Uh, what is that? By knowing which, everything will be known. By knowing one thing, everything will be known. Then, for that, he gives a reply: Be vidya, be vidya, be paracha, paracha. Two vidyas have to be known: apara vidya and para vidya. Apara vidya means all the, all the other language, all other. शास्त्र परामी यदा तदक्षरवधिगम्यते अपरा ऋग्वेद यजुर्वेद एंड ऑल्सो मैथमेटिक्स साइंस एवरीथिंग सो परा एंड अपराज परा इज अक्षर इज स्पीक्स अबउट दि यदा तदक्षरवधिगम्यते बै दट यू विल रियलाइज दट नाशरेखित द ब्रह्म युवर ओन स्वरूप परा विद्या इज अबउट ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो देन द सेकेंड चैप्टर से एंड देन दिस Aparavidya is about it includes everything. All the paravidya is in that. That is, whatever we see here is it is included in that. Achara, it is the atma of everything. Then the second chapter says, Tadayat Satya. That is truth. What the rishis have seen in the mantras, Veda mantras, whatever the subjects, whatever the shastra says. Then this is for suppose medicine. This medicine is applicable to. This disease, streptomycin you give for TB. This this medicine you give. That's all true only. It's not untrue. It's true. Likewise, every these are all true, and it gives the result also. But that is not a permanent one. 
So all the karma brings happiness. What you are searching is happiness. Ultimately, we want to be happy. We want to be at peace. That it gives. But it won't give that ultimate happiness. After achieving that, again you are unhappy. Again you want something. Again you want something. Again you want something. So it gives all goes like that. So paravidya, aparavidya will give you happiness. But if you analyze it, even achieving that happiness includes all dukkha. Although you achieve that some happiness, but during achieving that pro- the process there is dukkha, and after achieving it is dukkha, usually it's a good even example of eating langar, dining hall. Dining hall during academy, I used to give this example. Dining hall, they come for noon during summer, April, May, May June course. Huh? March, April, May, June course. So it will hot sun. So they will come and have food. So first they will come and see where the fan is. So they will try to sit under the fan. <laughs> and some people want the backrest. So they will go and take the backrest to sit. <laughs> like our Pavitra and some. Yeah, so even to eat also they want some backrest. After that they sit and eat. And keep on eating, what happens? Then the belly fulls, belly become full means, then they cannot, so the plate, they will take it and eat like this. Yeah. Have you noticed? So afterwards, they will be sweating. When you are eating, you are sweating, and then they look. So the fan is okay. The fan goes means it's a problem. And then to climb up, the, after finishing food, climbing up and coming to academy is a big problem. They will come like this. So. Eating is happy, but what are all inherent dukkha is there, you see. There is no sukha in this world without a tinge of dukkha. No. Absolute happiness is not there in anything. All happiness is blended with sorrow. So, pariksha lokani, karma chitani, brahmano, nirvada mayani. So, having examined, so all this. All this sukha, none of these sukha will make me happy. Then nirveda maya, a certain amount of bhairagya comes. Then he begins to find out what I should do. So, srotriyam gurumeva abhigacceti, srotriyam brahmanishtam, samitpanihi. So he should go to a guru who is srotriya, well versed in shastras and brahmanishta. And from him you learn. And the next they say, the next Mundaga speaks about Tade that Satyam, that ultimate Purusha. That is the Satya. The other one is Karma Pala, what is mentioned, all the Vaidika Karmas and all the activities which you believe that will bring happiness. That is true. But this is Satyasya Satyam. This is the ultimate truth. So Tade that Satyam. That Satya is actually that. It speaks about. The ultimate, and the ultimate includes everything. Purusha Veda Gum Sarvam, like that you speak. And then how to achieve that? That you have to meditate. Pranavodhana Sharoshi Atma. So in order to achieve that, you, in the Upanishadam Shastra, Upanishadam Shastra, that is, what is told in the Upanishad, that Pranava is your Dhanu, and your Jivatma or the mind is the Shara, and in the Dhanu, you fix this arrow, and shoot on the target, and it should go and fix it there. Up to that, we have covered, okay? Now, Tadiya Mundaga, Shankaracharya's commentary also, he says that uh, this Aparavidya and Aparavidya has been told, the description of the Aparavidya, description of the Parabrabha, and how to achieve that. Guru Meva and then meditate. So, when you do any sadhana, there are supplementary sadhanas are there. This you have to do. So, if you are cooking, then the recipe they give up, write up. Oh, this is, you take this much quantity rice, this much, this, this much, this, like that. So, one girl was preparing food, and a small young girl, and his mother was looking into this, and she prepared, and then finally nothing happened. She asked the mother, nothing happened, why it is not happening? You have not, the stove, you have not lighted the stove. First, you have to put the light the stove and the flame should be there. You should keep the vessel on the flame. 
That is not written there, so she did not do it. Okay, that you have to light this stove, that is a preliminary sadhana, like that. What are the supplementary sadhanas? Suppose if you are doing in Upasana, you are going to, in the early morning meditation, you take a bath and all these things. You can meditate without taking bath also. You can do japa without taking bath. But normally we take bath, wear good cloth and do it. Suppose if you are sick and bedridden, what will you do? Then when you are very cold, so today I'm not, I don't want to take bath. Then there is no problem in doing japa, there is no problem in praying to God. Bhagavad you should not read, it is not there, you can read. Normally you should not read, you should take bath facing east and sit down and all these things are rules. So these are supplementary. Once you have achieved that, then this is not required also. Sometimes it is not possible. Okay. So there are, for all the sadhanas, there are supplementary sadhanas are there. So the supplementary sadhanas told here. And again, the same point is repeatedly being told here. Okay, the first mantra is, Dva suparna sayuja sakhaya samanam vriksham parishasvajate tayoranyaha pippaladham swadu atti Anashnan Anyo Abhichagashiti. So this mantra, although it is in the Kathopanishad mantra, it is actually a Rigveda mantra. Originally it is from the Rigveda. Rigveda's mantra is there. And from there it is taken to the Mundaka Mundakapanishad. So Dva Suparna Sayuja Sakaya Samanam Bruksham Parishaswajate. Tayoho Anyaha Pippaladam Swadu Atti. Anashnani Anyaha Abhichagashiti. Okay. So there are dva suparna, actually dva suparna, sayujau, sakayau, like that it should be there. It is, but it is a Vaidika uh, Shabda, so it is because it is Arsha. Veda, in the Veda, this Sanskrit rule is not applicable. So they follow their dva is not correct, sayuja is not correct. Dva suparna, sayujau, sakayau, it should be like that. But Veda, this, this, this grammar, Panini's grammar is not applicable. So it is Arsha. Arsha. So Panini only says it is Arsha. Before that, they used to say wrong. Then their grammar will not stand. So this is wrong. Then the Rishis will give Shapa, useless fellow, you go. You're. Then their grammar book will not be accepted by others. Then Panini, Vishwamitra, this is an example, you know, Vishwamitra. Vishwasya Amitraha Vishwamitraha. Vishwasya Amitraha Vishwamitraha. Vishwamitraha became angry. I am Vishwasya Amitraha. Then, oh, then he gave a shapa. Then Panini gave Vishwasya Mitraha. Vishwamitraha. The Dirga is Prashodara Adi Sadhutam. Then what is special rule is there? <laughs> Something. That rule, according to this rule, this can elongate. This can be Shikram Vyakya Syamaha. Pado Sieha Bhavat Punaha Abhavati Punaha. That is wrong. Pado Sieha Abhavat Punaha should be the grammar. Pado Sieha Bhavat Punaha Tado Abhavati Punaha. Abhavati Punaha is Pada is wrong. Abhavati Punaha. So in Vaidika it is Vaidika Shabda, Vaidika grammar. So like that, this Dwau Suparna actually. But don't read Dwau. Dwa Suparna, Sayuja, Sakaya. Sama, Dau, Suparna, both two birds. Suparna means the golden, golden feathers. Beautiful birds you can take. Like, the, you know, the Dau, pigeons, two pigeons will always sit together. Like when the two birds will sit together. Like that, two birds are sitting. So you just connected to each other. Sakayo, each other. Saka. Samanam Bruksham Parishasvajade. They are sitting on the same tree. Two Birds, they are sitting together on the one branch of a same tree. Do you remember any, any such a thing? Anything like this it comes to your thought? Ah, Ramayana, Ram, Malmiki was going there and then he saw two birds sitting. What is that bird? When he goes to this? Krauncha. Huh? Krauncha. Krauncha Vidhanam. Krauncha Vidhanam, same thing. So that is this idea only. Valmiki puts this idea only there. Two birds were sitting there. One hunter came and killed one bird. 
So it fell down. It fell down and died. So the other bird was weeping. So he saw that. He became compassion. In that compassion, one sloka came. Manishada Padishtam. So this, this idea only is there. So Dvasuparno means it is two birds sitting on one branch of a tree. So one bird, Anyaha means, Anyaha means the other fellow, that is not the meaning. Anyo, Anyam, Pashyadi means one fellow sees the other. Anyaha normally means he is different from that, that is the meaning. Anyaha means the other. The other fellow saw the other fellow means one fellow saw the other fellow. So suppose he sees this man. Sachin sees, Nishra also means Anyaha, Anyam, Pashyadi. One fellow sees the other, Anyam. Anyam does not mean the other fellow, not that meaning, okay? So, Tayor Anyaha, of that one, Pippalam Swadu Atti. So, that in that, there's a Pippala tree. So, the Pippala, that fruit eats, eats Swadu Atti. And some are bitter, some are sweet. So, some fruits are sweet, so it is enjoying. And the other is bitter, eh, like that, goes like this. So, the other fellow is just witnessing what is happening. That's the meaning of this sloka, mantra, okay? Dau supernu sayujo sakayu samanam vriksham parishasva jate parishasthiti asraya tayohu anyaha of the two birds one pippalam swadu pippalam atti anashinani anyaha of the other bird does not asana is not doing anashinani anyaha abhijagasiti what is happening is looking so this is a symbolic irupaka a symbolic representation of the jiva and the paramatma in you Jivatma and Paramatma. There is no two. Jivatma, Paramatma is not there. When the Paramatma, when he is undergoing this pain, he is called Jivatma. When he is not undergoing the pain, he is Paramatma. So there is two Atmas are there, it's not there. When these things are happening, suppose if you are dreaming, in the dream, you see yourself taking bath in Ganga. So the sleeping fellow is here, and you are seeing, the seeing, you are taking bath. So you see you are taking bath. You see as, as I see you are taking bath, you see yourself taking bath. You have divided it into two. Okay? Likewise only this Jivatma and Paramatma. There is no Jivatma and Paramatma. There is no Brahmatma and other Atma. Only, only one Atma. Okay? There is no Jivatma. Jivatma is told for understanding purpose. In the reality, there is no two Atma. Jivatma is there, Paramatma is there. Jivatma will become one with Paramatma. It's not there. Jivatma and Paramatma is one only. When this is deluded, he is called Jivatma. When the delusion is removed, he is called Paramatma. In the mirror, when you see, there are no two fellows. Only one fellow is there. One fellow is getting reflected. Then they say the reflection of Paramatma only is Jivatma. So, for... for Explanation for us to understand this is told later. So two birds are sitting in one, two beautiful birds, golden uh, plumes. They are sitting on the branch of a tree and one is eating the fruits and when they eat fruits, some are bitter and some are sweet. So when it is sweet, it is happy. When it is bitter, it pains. Life is also like that. For us also, there is Sukha and Dukkha. And Anyaha Apichakashiti, the other bird, he is just not eating, but he is only looking, witnessing what is happening. Now, if you be read Gita and other things, Sukha Dukkhe Same Krishtva Ala Bhala Bhojaya Jeyu, Dukkhe Shvanu Dikkina Manaha, Sukha Dukkhe Shvanu Dikkina Manaha, Sukha Dukkhe Shvanu Dikkina Manaha, Vita Raga Bhaya All these explanations are what? They are the explanation of the other bird. Sukha Dukkhe Same Krishtva means it is not eating. Sukha and Dukkha are not there. Vita Raga Bhaya Krotaha because he is only a witness. This fellow is Vita Raga Bhaya Krotaha Sahitaha. The other is Vita Raga Krotaha Sahitaha. The other fellow is Vitaha. Vita Raga. The other is Sahitaha. Saraga Dveshaha. This is Viraga Dveshaha. Okay. So two birds are sitting. One is this undergoing the pain, pressure and pain of that, the world. Whatever experiences we have, it brings pain or pressure. And the other is just witnessing what is happening. Okay? So it is a description 
of our own personality, the Paramatma in us, and one who is undergoing the pain and pleasure, one who is having this Kamakrodha, Lobhamoha, all these things, and the pain and pleasure, all these things, belongs to the Jiva, deluded Atma. Paramatma only is undergoing all these things. And the other is just to watch him. Then next mantra, Samane Vrikshe Purusho Nimagnu Anishi Yashocha Devushya Manaha Yushtam Yada Pashyat Anyami Shasya Mahimana Meti Vita Shogaha Samane Vrikshe So, in the one tree they are there. So one, one bird is, in the same tree two birds are sitting. One is eating these fruits and undergoing pain and pleasure. The other is just looking. So likewise here also, Sri Vriksha here means it is a Sharire in that body, in that Vriksha, in this Vriksha. Samane Vriksha Purushaha. So this Jiva who is there in this body, Nimagnaha, Purusho Nimagnaha, he is drowning, he is drowned, he is immersed, he is drowned in this world, worldly things. He is fully surrounded by the worldly things, mundane experiences. So, Anishaya, so, Shocha de Mushya Manha, he has no capacity, he has no lordship over his own personality. If Dukkha comes, he cannot conquer that. So, Shocha de Mushya Manha, he is deluded and he is undergoing pains. Everyone is undergoing some pain or other. Sometimes Vyadi, sometimes separation, sometimes other, other problems. Yoga, Jara, Janma, Murtyu, all this, and other worldly, some poverty, food is not there, overeating, and then some, that problem. Like that, so many problems are there. Mushyati, Shochati, Mushyamanaha. So then, sometimes he looks, Jushtam, Yada, Pashyat, Anyami, Shasya. So this fellow, while he is, bird, this bird was eating, and then, Bitter fruit, he looks at the other fellow. You are happily sitting there. Why I have bitten a bitter fruit uh, like that? And I look at you. You are happy. When you are happy, oh, this fellow is happy. I should also be, become like that. This bird thinks, eh, I should also become like that. Do you have such experience? Do you have such experience? Now you go to, people have come to the ashram. Some have seen Chidan Swamiji Maharaj or somebody else, some Maharaj, Krishna Swamiji, Brahmananda, or you see Dandi Swamiji, some Mahatma, Ananda Mahima, some Mahatmas. So we find, so they are great saints. That thought comes in your mind. Ordinary fellows, one small boy, he looks at Virat Kohli, cricket player, Virat, oh, he's a great player. I also want to become like Virat Kohli, he thinks. Okay. What you will think? You won't think to become Virat Kohli. Nor you will think to become a cinema star. What you will think? I should become like Chidana Swamiji. I should become like Krishna Swamiji. I should become like Ramana Bhagavan. That thought only will come. You will not think about Virat Kohli. Maybe you may enjoy sometimes cricket. We also see. But we don't want to become Virat Kohli. Eh? We don't want to become uh, Doni. We want to become some Sadhu, Mahatma. Because that is our ideal. So we want to become like that. Okay. The same thing is told here. This Jivatma sometimes turns towards that. I want to become that. Sometimes in your mind, the thought comes, I should be free from all these problems. I should have God-realization. I should have darshan of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Sometimes the thought comes in your mind, Bhagavan, give me darshan. We are right. So now and then it comes actually. The more and more it comes, then it becomes solid actually. It becomes solid. Then you get involved in that. Otherwise what happens? Normally if you want to make more money, the people will think, I want to make more money, I want to become this, I want to buy a house, I want a car. So the same type of desire only and then that becomes powerful. Then you become active, then you achieve it. Same way only we are doing this. What makes you, what prompts you to do sadhana? What makes you to think about Bhagavan? What makes you to study? Now, why are we studying this? 
Why, why should you study Mundaka Upanishads? So some prompting is there inside. Okay? Something is there. So same thing. Jushtam yada pasyan anyam ishasya mahimanam. That greatness they say, oh, this. Andami ma you see, oh. What a personality. How beautifully she smiles. Ananda is there. So people come to the ashram and then they say, Swamiji, I sat in the Samadhi Mandir, so much peace was there. So that peace comes from his mind actually. Another fellow, a small child comes, he will do like this. And then, what do you want? That banana, he will say. He wants that banana only. You say that. It is so serene. So likewise, the bird also, like this bird, Jivatma, sometimes he finds, he looks, he has pain and pressure in this life. And sometimes it looks, oh, he's a wonderful saint. I want to be a saint like that. I want to be like you. So there, you make me also like you. So, Jushtam Yada Pashyati Anyam. When he sees the other, oh, I am undergoing pain and pressure, that is full of ananda. I also want to be in that stage. It is there, dormant in your mind. No one is free from this thought. Everybody has got this. But many times it is sleeping. So if you are allowed to sleep, it will sleep away. So the, all these studies and other things, meeting of satsang, what is the satsang actually? Satsangatve? Nisangatvum. All other sangha will go away. Sangha means what? Palecha. Sangha with all these worldly things. Not doesn't mean the people. It means the objects. So that uh, desire to you see that anyaha mahimanam isha vishasya mahimanam vikshya having seen that greatness in, a, in that Mahatma's life. Such a wonderful Mahatma we say. When you say such a wonderful Mahatma what do you mean actually? There is a desire in your mind that I want to be like that. You are moving that way. That is why this life of saints, the story of saintly personalities, why it is heard, then it makes you to desire, to think that I also want to become like that. Jnanadev. You hear the story of Jnanadev, Praglada, Ambarisha, Uddhava, Gopis, People will cry. Bhagavad Katha is going on. People will shed tears. So somewhere they are identifying with that character. You understand? Otherwise, why should you cry? Ambarisha stories. Especially in the south, in Kerala, there won't be music in this Bhagavad Katha. They will read the original text and give the meaning. Give the meaning. And uh, one of Gurudev's disciples, his name was Swami Jnanananda Saraswati. Not the poet who wrote all these things. This is a different Jnanananda Saraswati. This Jnanananda Saraswati was walking from Kerala to Rishikesh. By walk he came without any pie. Only two dhotis and another one spare. Came like this here and stayed here for 15 days. Gurudev, between that time, Gurudev gave him sannyas. And then afterwards he is very cold, so he doesn't Gurudev, I will go back. He said, Go there, okay, you go. And I think Gurudev has given him some money to go back, ticket also. So he came there and he was wandering, and then somebody gave him a land, he built an ashram, big, big ashram. So ashram he will construct and Bhagavad Katha he will beautifully he will say. People will keep on weeping. When he is telling the Bhagavad Katha, the sound will come. You understand what is this sound? What is this sound? Eh? That uh, little more watery nose. I went there first, then I saw this also. And then, that particular day I went there, they used to do puja also. For every shloka there will be puja, will be morning some Ganavadi home, etc. So the Pandit who used to do, he, he had fever. 
So then Swamiji told me, you please do it. Then I started doing that also. Then afterwards, regularly I used to go. Every year I used to go. Palgar Divine Society is, in his Samadhi is there. So when you, when people hear that story of Bhagavad, they will cry. Even now also, people when they read Bhagavad, some people tears will come. Many people will come, it will come to you also. When you read with you know the meaning, tears will come. What is happening actually? We are identifying with that character. We are identifying with that. Your that character and you become one. So then naturally you do not know that you want to become like that. I want to become like that. So same thing is told Juttam Yada Pashyati Anya Misham Mahimanam Bhita Shokaha. Bhita Shokaha. Bhita Shokaha Bhavati. So he looks at that and then all his Shoka has gone. You hear Bhagavad Katha or you read Bhagavad or you do something which touches your heart, not mechanically. Okay? Then what happens? Then the, you become silent. After that, what happens? You become silent. Shoka will not be there. You read Bhagavad, say 12 chapters, and you get some meaning also, and then you are tuned up. When you are tuned up to that, then you get the meaning. So, when I will see you, God, if you ask, that question is there. Suppose you say, Bhagavan, when I will have your darshan? If the shloka is like that, and you read, you know the meaning, what will happen? You will feel that. Vikshayagam hmm? sada, like that. Vikshayagam sada, sada vikshayagam. Gopalakrishna vikshayagam sada. So then you read, and then I am seeing Gopal, Bhagavan, Sri Krishna. When you sing like that, and if you know the meaning, what will happen? Tears will come on your eyes. This is not your experience. Sometimes it happens. So we are actually tuning up to that actually. What is the same thing is told. Yustam yada paschati anya misham mahimanam iti mahimanam iti vita shokaha bhavati tyartaha. Okay? Then all the shokas are gone. For the time being, you are free from all the shoka. Ultimately, all these sadhanas should make you quite peaceful and shoka rehita. After the sadhana, what do you want? Everything is okay. Shanta. Shanta chittaha. You see, even now you are all totally involved actually. I find that all of you are sitting so absorbed in that. Such a, even this thought will elevate you. This thought elevates you actually. Uh, then this puja, after the puja, this uh, mantra pushpa you are giving, you know. So there is one work by Shankaracharya. That is called 64 Upacharas. Chatush, Chatushati Upachara Tantra. Chatushati Upacharaha. That is one sloka is there on Devi. And there is 64 upacharas. Instead of, instead of Swaraja upachara, 64 upachara. Each sloka will, one one upachara will come. So normally each that sloka will read and then do the upachara. After the elaborate puja, this sloka will be read in special Devi pujas. And my, the teacher under whom I read, I studied, is a Vedantin. He talks Vedanta, Advaita Vedanta. But when it comes to bhakti, total bhakti will be there. Then, the last upajara, Usancha Pushpanjali, last mantra Pushpam. Okay. What, what do you say here? Nakarmanana Pradhyaya. Huh? What do you say? Nakarmanana Pradhyaya, I think. Okay. Mantra Pushpam. Nana. Uh, that is sloka. Before that, the Veda mantra is that. Okay. In that place, what they say is, Charanandalina Yukbum, Panga Jai, Puja Itva. Kanaka Kamala Malam, Kantha Jeshi, Arpajitwa, Shirasi Vilihito, Yam, Ratna Pushpan Jaliste, Hrdea Kamala Matye, Hirisham Tano Do you know the meaning? Charana Nalina Yukbum, Charana Nalina Yukbum means both your feet, both your Charana. Pankaja, if Puja, it was having worshipped your lotus feet with Pankaja, with lotus. 
Charana Nalina Yukmum, Panga Jay is Changrela, Nalina Yukmum. All these things you understand. Eh? Panga Jay is Puja Yitwa, Kanaka Kamala Malam, Kanta Jay Se, Arpa Yitwa, and then I have a Kanaka Mala, Sorna Mala, Golden Mala. Kanta Jay Se, Arpa Yitwa, I'm having put that garland in your neck. Shirasi Vinishito Yam, Ratna Bushpanjaliste. So in that, on your head, I pour this Ratna Bushpanjali. What do you want? Ratna Bushpanjali te Hridaya Kabbala Matye Harisham Tanotu In my heart, let there be Ananda. You, you pour that, you shower that Ananda, you rain that Ananda in my heart. That Brahma Ananda in my heart. That is the shloka for this. Mantra Bushpan Sarpe Ami Yujan. And when he chants this, he will weep. I will be looking at this. Tears will come in my ears also. That sloka even today I remember. Charanandalina Yukmum. You see this. Chadishat Yupajara Tantra. Not Tantra. Chadishat Yupajara. Something like that. You have this book, Acharya's book. Mantra Stotra Pushpa. Stotra Selur. Charanandalina Yukmum. Panga Jai Puja Yitva. Kanaka Kamala Malam, Kanta Jesi, Arpayitua, Shirasi Vinishito, Yam, Ratna Bushpanjaliste, Hrde Kamala Matye, Hadisham Tanotu. Likewise, most of these lokas, if you know the meaning, you get involved. Most of these lokas are like that. How did this loka you take, for example, Aparada Chama Paratatra? Adu Karma Prasanga, Kaleyadi Galusham, Adur Guchaus Titamam. No, you know. Shiva Aparada Shama Prasut Adu Garma Prasangat Kaleyadi Galusum Madri Gutso Stidam Bin Mutra Amid Yamatye Kathedinism Shakyate Kenavakum Chanta Vyo me Aparada Shiva 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 Bo Sri Mahadeva Shambo Balye Dukka de Deka Malilu Lizabu Stanyapane Vivasa like the one by one, one by one it took. So, like that, he says, Jushtam Yada Paschati Vita Shokaha Paschati Anya Meshasya Mahimanam. So, he looks at the other one, he looks at that Mahatma, looks at the Bhagavan, and then he wants to become like that, Vita Shokaha. So, all the pains in the mind, sorrow in the mind has gone. Totally in that, absorbed in that, Shanti is there. Ultimately, all our exercises, all our sadhana, Puja, Japa, all these things has to give that peace only. Then the next mantra, Yata Pashyaka Pashyate Rukma Varnam Kartaramesham Purusham Brahma Yonim Tada Vidwan Punyapape Vidhuya Niranjana Paramam Samya Mupaiti. This loka is connected, this mantra is connected to the connected to the previous one. So when so in, when we are in these worldly activities, God's grace, because of some providence, because of divine grace, Guru's, Guru Kripa, we come across with Mahatmas, or we come across with some good things, or we read some scripture and something, and then we get that idea, then we find that is so elevating, then we become peaceful. So the same thing is told. Yada Pashyaha, Pashyaha means one who is, who is here, one who sees. Pashyaha, Pashyate Rukma Varnam, Kartara Misham, that Kartara Misham Purusham Brahma Yonim, that Bhagavan, Purusha Yonim is the cause for all these things, that Bhagavan Kartara Misham. When the seer see that Bhagavan, at least that means you see that your own inner self, Paramatma is here only. Or you can see the Paramatma, Paramatma outside is actually Paramatma inside only you see outside. Suppose if one criminal fellow is there, Govinda, he came here. Good. Govinda, you remember? Govinda, one who hit. He saw Gurudev, he did not saw any greatness in him. Only after striking, later on only he understood. When he was taken to the Police station and when Gurudev went him with tea and upma, then only he understands, oh, he can do like Then only he started weeping. At the time of beating, 
she want to kill him only kill only gurudev okay so so then the pashya sometimes you feel that so because of the samskara in you because of goodness only in you because of the sadhana only you are able to see the goodness in others you are able to behold bhagwan in others only because of your purity so now you see the bhagwan in gurudev shivananda chidananda and mahima as you become more and more pure you will be able to see it here and you will be able to see everywhere even in scoundrel you will see bhagwan then wherever you see you should see so yada pasya ha pasya te rukma varnam karta rami isham isham that bhagwan where when she sees the bhagwan everywhere after seeing here brahma yoni tada vidwane punya pape viduya then he becomes free from punya and papa he is above punya and papa sarva dharman parityajya adharman already parityag ho gaya abhi ಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮಾನ್ ಪರಿತ್ಯಜ್ಯ ಮಾಮೇಕಂ ಶರಣಂ ಬ್ರಜ ಸೊ ವಿಧೂತ ಪಾಪ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಪಾಪೇ ವಿಧೂಯ ನಿರಂಜನ ಹಾಸನ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಬ್ಲೆಮಿಷ್ ಪರಮಂ ಸಾಮ್ಯಮುಪೈತಿ ಸಾಮ್ಯಾವಸ್ಥ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಶಾಂತಾವಸ್ಥ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾವಸ್ಥ ಸಾಮ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನೋಡಿ ಸಾಮ್ಯಂ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಆರ್ ವಿಷಮ ವಿಷಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಷಮ sama and vi sama vi sama becomes vi sama okay sa only becomes sha sama means equal what is equal bhagwan is equal everywhere in you in me everything what is vishama you are tall i am short you are big i am small you are you working here i am working there you are black i am white all this vi sama the other is sama samyam pashyati so once you have seen that supreme reality the more and more you become close to bhagwan what happened rukma varnam kartaram isham brahma yonim etaha pasya ha pasyate tada vidwade punya pape then there is no punya in you there is no papa in you papa has gone punya has gone papa you are not doing it is not there punya also it is sacrificed to niranjana ha anjana rahita ha without any blemish without anything paramam samyam upaiti ashanta avastha will come okay so we will stop here and tomorrow we will see to the wonderful class i by myself felt it i myself felt so elevated actually because of you only otherwise i will never think about all these things i will be worrying about and wonder things <laughs> is probably you will come and tell me something i want to support you like that <laughs> okay om bhadram karne vishrunyam deva bhadram pasye maksha birya jatra stire rangai stuttu vagum sattanu bihi vesheem deva hitam jadayu swasti na indro vrta shrava swasti na pusha vishveda swasti na taksho ajishta nemihi ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪದರ್ದೂ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ